This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... So, here's something that I would like one of the new Free Stater reps to do in the New Hampshire legislature. I would like to see them do nothing that adds any new text to the law. So, for instance, uh, I don't really want them to do nothing, but if the, let's say they were to submit a piece of legislation. Well, they should submit it only in the sense of removing text from the law. So, it, uh, you know, the first Free Stater legislation that was passed was a... I'm, I don't think it really involved any Free Stater reps because it was so... it was before that time before we had any reps, but it was submit, it was it was requested by a free stater, and it was just new new text that basically uh, I think it was new text that uh, uh, you know uh, was aimed at making things easier on homeschoolers, and I think it did, but I think it added some text to the law. This may not be the best example. There are many other examples though where uh, free staters have submitted legislation, and again it creates more laws, more text. We should be doing things to reduce the amount of pages in New Hampshire code, right? It's about 20,000 pages currently, I think. We want to get that down to 10,000, 5,000 over the years. And uh, I guess Carol McGuire, who, who I think has been a uh, Free Stater rep since about 2006, has submitted and I think gotten some legislation through that basically eliminates old, you know, antiquated bills and laws, laws anyway, there were other attempts besides hers uh, around 07, 08. So this is sort of a wish that's already in progress. Here's another idea just popped into my head. What if a state rep were to videotape all of their interactions with all the lobbyists and other state reps and put it on YouTube? You know, sort of a, com a total transparency sort of thing. Well, this might be a little bit on the boring side if you know, the bureaucrats were pretty laid back about being filmed. But the ones that were freaked out about being filmed or didn't want to talk, uh, did only wanted to do their interaction in sil you know, in, 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 in the hush hush. It would be fun to see that process videotaped. Or or with lobbyists. Uh I gotta admit, when I was thinking I, I, I could conceivably become a state rep, I uh I wasn't too sure what I would exactly do and not do with my camera. I probably would not have videotaped uh, all my interactions back in those days, but over, over the years I just learned that it's just better to just run that camera and throw it up on YouTube whenever you're interacting with any, any government official. That's one of the reasons you don't see me very much, you know, at places like Area 23 or any other get-togethers get uh, uh, get of free staters. You know, I find that when I'm dealing with free staters, I'm increasingly dealing with, you know, some of them are government officials. And so what do I do? Do I record my brother free staters, you know, every move out of distrust? Or do I let the conversation be just between me and them? I've definitely found that there are cases where when I'm not running my camera, a free stater will start talking to me or a liberty activist in New Hampshire, sometimes a politician who's a liberty activist, they'll start talking to me and try and get me to cover things a certain way and they'll they'll, they'll wind up saying things I really would, would prefer to report to the public and yet it feels kind of like it was in confidence, it would be like an act of betrayal to a friend and uh, it just makes me feel too close to the government or, or too non-independent. I walk away from conversations like that feeling dirty. I, I keep them to myself, but I feel dirty. So they're definitely not the kind of conversations one would go out of their way to have or be around. It would be fun to have a free stater uh, rep or a liberty rep. It doesn't really matter whether they're a free stater in this context, but uh, it'd be fun to have them calling in to Porcupine 411 two or three times a week from the house, making a live report of, you know, what was going on that day, what had happened, what would be nice, you know, if uh, Liberty activists could do over the next three or four days. So many times when I'm wandering the halls of the state house, you know, I'll, I'll sit down next to a rep and they'll, they'll just start, you know, opening their heart to me about how upset they are about this and this and this that's going on and so and so did these shenanigans and such and such happened. 
there's no reason why that information has to be just shared with me and then kind of forgotten by me. Just pick up the phone and spew, especially if you're one of the ones that doesn't mind losing your next election. So many of these things, you know, these uh, misuse of the rules, breaking of the rules, things happening that shouldn't be happening at the state house, they just happen in darkness. No one knows they're going on. If you're a rep, you're going to have frustrations at the end of every day, and I think you shouldn't have to keep them to yourself. Picking up that phone and telling them all to for Porcupine 411 would be a great idea. Uh, just go to Porcupine411.com if you don't know what I'm talking about. I personally, I would probably archive almost all of these, and maybe I'd listen to them on an MP3 player, and there might even be occasions where I would run them on the Ridley Report and illustrate them. I guess you could you could do some of this, you know, with Free Talk Live. Uh, you would probably end up being on hold for 20 minutes, roughly, or maybe 15 minutes, and uh, you would be on the air for about probably five minutes, and you could summarize your concerns about what's going on at the State House. Usually, the weak link in a chain when some when something bad happens, the weakest link in the chain is the number of people who know it happened. So, uh, you would be able to break that link in the chain to some extent. Okay, to be continued shortly, more of my wish list for what I hope the new and old Free Stater reps will do this session. Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, Against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully, urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.